Some vaccine clinics in North Carolina are pausing the single dose vaccinations. That's due to several people having adverse reactions to the shots. In the East, ECU is still giving out the Johnson & Johnson shot. Not in your side's Caroline Boyer spoke with a health expert about its safety. Health experts at the national, state, and local levels agree. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is safe, and some of the adverse reactions that are happening could happen with any vaccine. What we've heard so far is in line with, with any reaction someone may have to an injection in general, not even a vaccination. This week, 18 people at a Raleigh vaccine clinic experienced symptoms like dizziness, fainting, and nausea after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Four people were taken to the hospital for observation. A lot of the reactions they're having are reactions that people have to vaccines, so they're not necessarily unique to Johnson & Johnson. The CDC says despite this, it is still safe for North Carolina. Carolina clinics to administer the shots. The CDC has not found any uh, correlation between the Johnson and Johnson vaccine itself and the reactions people are having. ECU is offering the vaccine to students and community members. The university hosted a vaccine clinic at Minji's Coliseum this week. We were really excited that we were receiving uh, Johnson and Johnson from the state because it is one and done. Wow. Students don't have to worry about coming back um, to get the vaccine, um, you know, for their second shot. ECU director of student health services has advice for people before they get any of the COVID vaccines. Don't come on an empty stomach. We do encourage people to eat and to have something to drink just to make sure, you know, that um, some of their symptoms aren't related to hypoglycemia. ECU will continue to offer the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at the Croatan on weekdays from 9 to 4. In Greenville, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side.